Hello everyone. Today we have hope everyone is well. Things should be good for them, for everyone. And uh, oh, today I uh, decided to show you some interesting items that uh, I have had for a while. And uh, it's, uh, they're kind of artistic, it's uh, primitive. These uh, dolls of, uh, well, I can show it to you. Let's take a look at it right now. Then we have afterwards a, uh, an article on, of uh, uh, Justin Hancock, he's a horticulturist from Costa, Costa Farms in off Miami, and he knows about plants, and he says having plants in the house are very beneficial to people. It makes the house feel more like a home, so it's very good for people to have uh, plants interspersed in their, in their homes, and it gets them a feeling of... Uh, being with one with nature and let's take a look at first we'll take a look at uh, these very interesting uh, dolls these are pretty vintage it's like in the like in the form of a clown that's one they have to be propped up they got to be pro kind of propped up this one is made, looks like, out of uh, various pieces of fabric, which they put on, which were put on a string, and uh, it's an interesting uh, primitive item. And here, we'll keep that there. This over here is another one, also with uh, crocheted. Uh, various uh, rings that are put made to to be like the arms and the limbs and the the legs the body of the hat over here these look like they're pretty um, vintage here these are the legs and the arms so these are uh, kind of interesting pieces of work over here here we'll put this over here. Oh yeah, this is also the other thing. This is uh, the cover of uh, the country home, January 1933. So this is an interesting. It's like the uh, the New Year, January 1933. So uh, it comes with a uh, came with a. A wooden um, frame that's kind of interesting oh what does it say here it says time md you see 1933 yeah they they do that sometimes they take uh covers of magazines and they put it into frames so uh, you know and they they keep it for posterity so that's an interesting uh, item there Actually, it belongs to somebody else. They uh, they lent it to me. Here, we'll put that. We'll put these two over here. In the meantime, got to handle it better than that, actually. But anyway, we got those two there. Now, let's get to the um, to the article at hand that we were talking about about having plants. The benefits of having plants in the uh, apartment, in the home. Let's take a look at it. Using house plants to say welcome home. Tricks of the trade. Cheryl Lou Lien Tan. This is from the, uh, where is it from, the Wall Street Journal? Or it might be the, uh, The Wall Street Journal. Plants don't just have to be relegated to the outdoors. In cooler climates, especially, in cooler climates, especially, they can be 
a way to lend a touch of calming nature to your home decor. There are ways to pull off the look artfully. Quote, any home with plants in it just feels more welcoming, natural, and attractive to me, says Justin Hancock, horticulturist with Costa Farms in Miami. Quote, plants bring in a sense of nature, and nature makes us feel comfortable. When working house plants into an interior, Mr. Hancock, who lives in a three-bedroom house just south of Miami in Cutler Bay, Florida, often likes to start by looking at the furniture in the space. Quote, in my living room, I have a nice, really dark brown leather sofa, and because it's dark, it kind of grabs the eye, so I augment with red aglanema, aglanema, he says, noting that the dark green leafy plant tinged with bright red at the edges, quote, just makes a nice, suitable complement with, without screaming, look at me. Size is an important consideration with plants, says Mr. Hancock, who notes that the plants should complement the furnishings and the space, not dominate it. Sometimes, though, larger plants can work. Mr. Hancock has worked a large ficus into his home decor before. The trick, he says, is to make sure it's the only plant in the room and is a focal point that draws attention. If a plant is small, one in three or four inch pot, one in a three or four inch pot, for example, it can